ISO 1345-2003 online training presented by CalISO Corporation. Thank you for choosing CalISO Corporation for your training needs. This short video clip is presented to introduce you to some introductory information on the requirements of ISO 1345-2003. What is ISO 1345-2003? ISO 1345-2003 uses the same structure as ISO 9001-2008 but has a different focus. Where ISO 9001 is focused on ensuring an organization provides products that satisfy customer requirements, ISO 1345 is focused on ensuring an organization provides safe and effective products it has additional requirements specific for medical devices. You will see upon review of the ISO 1345-2003 standard that the ISO 9001-2008 requirements are in a normal black font and the additional requirements specific for medical devices are in blue italic font. The text for 1345-2003 is formatted exactly as the ISO 9001-2008 standard in that there are eight sections. Although section 1, 2, and 3 do not contain requirements, a brief description is included in this presentation. Section 1.0 is the scope. The primary objective of the standard is to facilitate harmonized medical device regulatory requirements for quality management systems. This section also discusses acceptable exclusions from the quality management system requirements in Clause 7 that are not applicable to a specific organization may be excluded and details including justifications of the exclusion need to be in the scope section of the quality manual. Section 2.0 is the reference section. It references ISO 9000-2005 quality management systems fundamentals and vocabulary. Please note that the ISO 1345 standard has not been revised since 2003. Therefore, the reference included in this section of the standard still reflects ISO 9000-2000 Quality Management Systems Fundamentals and Vocabularies. Our classes online specifically have been updated to the 2005 standard. Section 3.0 is Terms and Definitions. While the terms and definitions of ISO 9000 apply, there is a specific list of additional terms and definitions for medical devices. Section 4.0 is where the requirements begin. 4.0, Quality Management Systems. It's the way we run our business or structure it. The Quality Management System, also known as QMS, is the organizational structure, procedures, processes, and resources that are needed to implement the Quality Management System. Quality Management refers to the disciplines that an organization implements to ensure quality-minded processes which translate to quality product or services. Some key additional requirements found in this section are the requirement to maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system and its processes. The requirement to establish and maintain a file that defines the product specifications and QMS requirements, also known as a device master record or DMR. and the definition of record retention periods. Record retention is critical in the traceability of medical devices. Section 5.0, Management Responsibility. This section defines how management supports the structure of the quality management system. 
It defines the requirements that top management actively participate in the quality management system. Some key additional requirements found in this section are top management must not only develop and implement a quality management system, but also maintain its effectiveness. The purpose of customer focus is to ensure that customer requirements are determined and met. The quality policy must contain a commitment to maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system. And you'll see maintain the effectiveness throughout the ISO 1345 standard. Responsibilities and authorities must be clearly defined and documented as in an organizational chart. and also ensuring that all staff are aware of regulatory and customer requirements. Section 6.0 Resource Management This entire section is about the people, buildings, machinery, or software. So by resources we mean anything that makes a company a business, such as people, buildings, and equipment. Basically, Anything that's needed to make a product or a service. Top management must manage the resources as well as the infrastructure so that a quality product can be produced. Some key additional requirements found in this section are resources or staff must be provided to implement and maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system as well as meet the regulatory and customer requirements. And you see there again are the words implement and maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system. Documented requirements for maintenance activities must be established for equipment that can affect product quality. Records of maintenance must be maintained. There is an entire section discussing the requirements for health, cleanliness, and clothing of a personnel, as well as environmental conditions if contact or conditions could adversely affect the product. Also, special arrangements must be made to separate contaminated product in order to prevent contamination of other product, work environment, or personnel. Section 7.0, Product Realization. This is how we make safe and effective medical devices. Product realization is how a company realizes the product, how your product comes to life, and how it will be delivered to your customer. It covers everything from planning or concept, including customer requirements, to design and development, as well as verification and validation of product. Purchasing controls, including supplier qualification, control of production and service provision is included and as stated earlier identification traceability requirements are also included in this section and are critical for medical devices control of customer property if applicable as well as preservation of product are other requirements listed in this section last but definitely not least calibration requirements are included in this section If any of the requirements of Section 7.0 do not apply to your organization, you may exclude them from your quality management system, as indicated in Section 1.0 of the scope. But remember, if you exclude a requirement, you must provide a justification. There are far too many additional requirements to list, but here are a few that you can find in this section. Risk management must be documented throughout product realization. Please reference ISO 14971 for details. Communication with customers regarding advisory notices is required. 
design and development validation shall include clinical evaluation and or evaluation of performance of the medical device. There are specific requirements included for cleanliness of product and contamination control, installation and servicing activities as applicable, and particular requirements for sterile medical devices, as well as particular requirements for active implantable medical devices. Section 8.0, Measurement, Analysis, and Improvement. This section talks about how to improve not only the product, but the process by which it is manufactured. Also, this section addresses how to improve your quality management system. You remember, continually improve and maintain, implement and maintain. Those are consistent words throughout this standard. The effectiveness of the quality management system. That's what this section is all about. Some key additional requirements found in this section are implementing monitoring, measurement, analysis, and improvement to maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system. Monitoring feedback from customers will give information as to whether the organization has met the customer requirements and will also provide early warning of quality problems. There are particular requirements for active implantable devices. Nonconforming materials may only be accepted if regulatory requirements have been met. Product that is found to be nonconforming and that has been reworked must be retested and accepted. Analysis of data includes the suitability and effectiveness of the quality management system. There is an entire section that speaks to customer complaints and how they must be handled. Both corrective and preventive actions must be reviewed for effectiveness. We certainly hope you enjoy this online training. Please proceed to the beginning of your course. If you should have any questions or concerns, please see our Frequently Asked Questions page on our website. Thank you very much.